This will be a drop test of the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. This is the ceramic version. Ceramic is a little bit more durable than glass, so I kind of want to test out its durability in this drop test. And also the other thing I want to test out in this video is the Whitestone Dome Glass Tempered Glass Screen Protector. This phone has it. I'm going to try to get in here so you can see the cutout right there for the dual camera. So what I'm going to be doing is first, I'm going to be dropping the phone face down, three drops, and also on the back, backside down, three drops. I'm not going to be doing any corner drops or anything. What I really want to test is the ceramic back and the white stone. So first drop will be face down, right on the white stone tempered glass. So I'm about six feet tall, so I'm going to say about three and a half feet or so. So I'm just going to drop it like this. Drop one of three right now. Three, two, one, let's go. Right on the face. Okay, so let's, uh, and let's take a look at the device. And ooh, as you can see, there's some damage on the corners of the white stone dome glass. Look at that. Bottom right, bottom left, and the top left. But none were to cut out. Oh, there, actually, no, take that back. There's some damage right there, as you can see. Now, did the frame of the device get messed up too? Let's have a look right now. And a little bit, I'm seeing some marks right there on the corner. And a little bit of a scuff right there, also on the corner of the frame. Rose gold. And this looks pretty clean. And a little bit damage right there. Okay, but the screen, let me turn it on. Screen is still functional, so you can see. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, do this for a second time. Drop two of three in three, two, one, go. Ooh, baby, let's have a look. All right, so as you can see, the white stone dome is starting to lift a little bit right there. All right, and then same thing here on the bottom right. And then, okay. A little bit more separation between the white stone and the Gorilla Glass 6 of the phone. Some damage there on the upper left corner as well. And we get in here, right there where my thumb is. A little bit of damage there. Let's take a look at the frame of the device. Looks pretty clean. And right here, take a look for yourself. Take a look for yourself on that corner. Okay, I'll check the screen again. And still seems to be functional. All right, so drop three of three. Three, two, one. Woo! Man, that was hella loud. Um, let's have a look. And screen's still on. It's a good sign. Uh, I'll go ahead and turn off the display. Let's take a look at the damage incurred. Okay. Have a look for yourself. All right, very well. A little more damage on the middle of the screen now. A little bit of a crack going down the screen in the middle. All right, so that's the white stone dome. I'll be taking off the screen protector in a little bit. But first, let's go ahead and drop this device on the backside. And as you know, this is the ceramic back version. So let's see how well it can handle a moderate drop, about three and a half feet or so. Now, before I get started, I will say that I think the area of vulnerability back here is the camera. Um, I don't know if this is Gorilla Glass for the camera lens and also the frame around the camera lens, a little bit higher than the ceramic. You can see my finger stops right there. So it's a, there's a little bit of a lift. So when it's gonna hit the ground, that will be the first point of impact. So I anticipate some damage on this part of the phone, but we'll see what happens with the ceramic. Drop one of three on the ceramic. Let's do this. In three, two, one, let's go. Okay, I kind of messed that one up. Kind of landed in the corner a little bit, but we'll see the damage. And I think that landed here, yup. That landed right here. Okay, that one was kind of off. That was my bad. So that kind of damaged the corner right here. Let's see what else. All right, a little bit more there. All right, I'm gonna try that again. 
in three, two, one, let's go. That was a clean drop right on the backside. So let's have a look. Okay. Okay, I'm seeing some scuff marks here on the ceramic, but it just kind of wiped right off with my finger. Okay, very good. And let's check it out. All right, I mean, not really, I'm not seeing anything. And then right here is a little bit of a speck where my thumb is. See if that'll wipe right off. It wipes right off. Hold on, let me just look at it right now. And this phone looks pretty clean back here. Even the camera lens looks clean. Yeah, that's a clean looking phone still. Okay. All right, now another drop right on the ceramic back. Let's do this in three, two, one. Oh, that was more of a corner drop again, but let's have a look. Okay. And what happened here? Not seeing anything. Back here still looks pretty clean. Let me look at it right now. Oh man, nothing back here. Okay, a little bit of a, okay, right on the camera. See if I can try to get in here. See if I can autofocus in right there. My thumb is, a little bit of damage in that area. Now you might see that's a little bit foggy on that lens because I did a freeze test and a water test on this phone. That's why it's a little foggy. Okay, we'll drop this again. I wanna see if I can crack the ceramic. We'll see. Three, two, one, and let's drop. More of a corner drop. I think that landed on the top corner. Let's check the ceramic in that area. I gotta say, I'm a little bit impressed. I'm not seeing anything. Have a look. It's clean back here. Now the frame is kind of messed up right now on this area. Have a look. But the ceramic itself, I mean here, I'll try to film this right now. Have a look for yourself. It's pretty much clean back here. So far, I am impressed with the ceramic back. Okay, I'm gonna do one more drop. Let me just check the note, make sure it's recording. It's not recording. No, my note's not recording. What happened? All right, so I don't think the note recorded actually. It kind of closed the camera app on its own. Oh well, it is what it is. One more final drop and we'll see if it incurs any damage. This will be the final drop. So I better get this right. In three, two, and one. Clean drop on the backside. All right, let's have a look. Having a look right now. Don't mind the plane above me. I gotta say, it's pretty clean back here still. Okay, nothing. This phone is still clean. See the plane right there? Okay. Sorry for the background noise. Yeah, this phone's clean. There's a little bit of a scuff mark right here on the ceramic itself. I mean, let me look at it right now. But it's so faint, you can barely notice that. I mean, that is hardly noticeable. Considering I just dropped this phone back here on its backside like four times. I mean, this is actually quite impressive. Very nice. All right, so basically just very minor marks on the corners of the device on its backside. Here, 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 and here. Very minor. I mean, you have to really look for it. Hardly noticeable. I gotta say, I'm impressed with the ceramic back. Very nice. All right, so finally, let's have a look at the front of the device. It has the white stone dome. So how well does this screen protector protect a phone from drops? So let's have a look right now. I'm gonna take this off. And I might have to do this behind the camera real quick. This might take a while, actually. <laughs> oh, man. Woo! All right, so I just spent the last five minutes or so trying to get this white stone off and not exactly having the easiest time with that so but as you can see there was a lot of damage on the tempered glass on the corners of the phone and i've well let's take a look at the top right here there's a lot of damage on a white stone in this area but i removed some of it here and the glass underneath the white stone the gorilla glass six of the phone 
it's still pretty clean. Okay, I'm gonna try to get close as you can see. Now the stuff you see in the lens, that's from the water test I did earlier, so ignore that. But the glass underneath the Whitestone Dome, the Gorilla Glass 6, is still pretty clean. So with that being said, and it's, this, and it's the same thing here on this side of the phone too, and same thing on the bottom corners as well, so you can see. The glass underneath the tempered glass is clean. Same thing over here, kind of removed some of it. So with that being said, should you get a tempered glass screen protector for your Galaxy S10 Plus or S10? My answer to that is absolutely. It will definitely, most definitely protect your display from a drop. So highly recommend you get yourself a tempered glass screen protector, whether it's a white stone or something else as long as it's compatible with the fingerprint scanner. If you like to rock your phone naked, no case at all whatsoever, get the ceramic version, get yourself a tempered glass, at least protect the front and back sides of this phone. Now, if you drop your phone and lands in a corner, uh, you might be SOL with that. Get the ceramic version if you wanna go caseless, or if you wanna get a bumper case, get a bumper case, get the ceramic version of this phone, get a white stone dome glass, and you should be good to go. All right, so let me know in the comments below what you thought about this drop test of the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Thanks for watching. Peace out.